Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating dummy content. In this tutorial, we will learn to create dummy content using Devel module. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system, Drupal 8 and Firefox web browser. You can use any web browser as per your choice. One of the things we need when we are building our Drupal site is to have a lot of content. This will help us to understand layouts, views, and designs. But ideally, we shouldn't use real content. Say we need to change a content type or a field. The problem is we have to go in and edit the real content, which is a waste of time. But this step is very important. We need to test our content types to make sure they are what we want. We have only covered a few kinds of fields till now. Here is our Cincinnati node. Let's say the Cincinnati group wants to charge a fee for their meetings. And they want to put this on the site. We can use a decimal for money or an integer which is a whole number. Say you choose an integer because they only charged $10. But later on, they decided to charge $10.99. Then we are in trouble. An integer cannot be changed into a decimal especially after we've already added content. And so, these are the things that need to be planned out beforehand. We can test all of this by using some fake content. These can be easily inserted and easily deleted when we are done with our testing. Remember this, we don't need hundreds of real content, but only a few fake content. The solution to this problem is the Devel module. Go to drupal.org slash project slash devel. Till now, we haven't actually talked about modules or extended our Drupal website yet. We will do that in the upcoming tutorials. But here, we will learn to install devel module and use it. This will give us an idea of some of the power that Drupal modules can give us. Scroll down to the bottom and locate the download section. This screen might look very different for you. Drupal 8.x version could be up in the green region, so make sure you click that one. If not, then click the development release. Now, there are two ways to do this. We can download it, but that will give us many unnecessary files on our desktop. Or we can right click. And depending on our browser, we will see either copy link or copy link location. Either way, click the link to the tar file or the zip file. But do not click on this dev file because that won't work. These are links to the actual files. Once we've got that, come back to our site. Click on extend and then on install new module. Now paste the URL into the install from a URL field. If you have a good internet connection, you can install from the URL. Otherwise, for your convenience, the devel package has been provided in the code files link on this page. Please download it and upload it using the choose file option here. Lastly, click install. Now, click on enable newly added modules. Click on the word core to minimize it. Then scroll down. Under the development block, we can see devel and devel generate. Ignore the others for now. Put a check mark in Devel and Devel Generate. Then scroll down to the bottom and click Install. Remember that in Drupal, we always have to make sure that we click on Save, Install, etc. We should get a green message here. Two modules have been enabled. Don't worry if you see any caution message in red color as long as it's not a serious error. To generate a whole bunch of content, click on Configuration. Then on the left hand side, we will see Generate Content link. Click on that. Now, we will be able to generate as much content as we want to do the required testing. We will choose Events and User Groups because these are the two content types that we need to test. Notice here, there is a Delete All Content in these content types before generating new content. This is to delete the fake content. Let's put a check mark there and generate zero nodes. 
This will delete all the events and user groups. This will also include the ones that we created ourselves. For example, our Cincinnati user group would also be gone if we did this. So let's uncheck that. Let's generate 50 nodes. Go back a year. We don't have comments on our nodes. Change the maximum number of words in title to 2. If you don't do that, this will generate a lot of long lorem ipsum text. Click Generate. Immediately, we get a success message. To find out if it worked, click on Content. Here's a list of 15 new nodes, half events, and half user groups. Click on any one and we will see that Devel has generated a lot of text in description, an event logo, a fake event website, a date, has chosen one of the user groups as sponsor, and has selected some of the event topics. We can now do our layouts, our views, and all the other things that we need to do with our site. Devel has helped us to save a lot of time by generating fake content. This is a great feature of Drupal provided from a module downloaded at drupal.org. These are called contributed modules. We will learn about this later. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about creating dummy contents using Devel module. This video is adapted from Acquia and OS Training and revised by Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. The video at this link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, Ministry of Human Resource Development, and NVLI, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Varsha Venkatesh signing off. Thanks for joining.